Hey guys, it's Steve. We're going into section two, get to know Steve with some questions from Selvin about real estate. Hope you enjoy. What's your favorite transaction in real estate? What is the one the one transaction that you can boldly remember Yeah. that you, you'd like to tell us about? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about two because one happened in the past that really stuck out and there's many like this, but I'll just talk about this one because it was my direct neighbor and one that just happened just recently, like uh, did a deal two weeks ago, one a week and a half ago, somewhere around there. So the one in the past was basically, um, where we used to live in Bolton, our, our direct neighbors, we became really close. They, they were uh, Kiwis, they're from New Zealand and uh, amazing. We got along really well and, and very trustworthy and, and they believed in me. So they, they, I remember it was one of their first transactions. I was, I bought my first investment that time in Alice and they follow suit or they actually, they may have bought it before me. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but I was talking about it and they said, okay, we want to buy an investment. They bought this investment and that's it. And they sat on it and then let's, then, you know, that was what, 2012 or 13. Fast forward to 2016 when they had to retire, six, seven years after, they were able to retire with no, no hassle. So, so without that move, without the purchase of that investment property, right. it, they could have retired, but it would have been not as glorious as, as, as it was. So basically helped them to retire. And mind you, he said that this is the way we're selling now. The, the, the property that we're selling now is going to make us retire because right. if we didn't have it, we would continue to work. So that was that was very impactful where you kind of look at real estate and, you know, it's, it's if you look at my business, there's, I don't even know how many agents now, 50 to 60,000 agents that are, right. you know, there's, 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 there's good ones and there's ones that are just there to make the cash and turn, turn and burn. But that one really stuck out because we did impact someone's life and right. we only live one life. That's one retirement. If you can help someone stop working and enjoy their life, I think it's huge. That's For me, that's huge. No, yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. And, and the second one? Second one was just about a, a week and a half, two weeks ago. First time buyers. We brought them out to, and very nice people. Um, clients, of, clients of mine's kids, just, just first time buyers. They're, they're, I think, mid to late, late 20s, I would imagine. But we went to go show them properties and, and their budget, you know, yeah. where they were. It was new properties in Woodbridge, but it yeah. was like living in a box. Oh. Yeah. And it was nice on quartz countertops, but literally you're, you'd be on top of each other. Like wow. the, the den was, oh, I don't, I don't even know. It's the size of that pizza oven. It was just, <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, no emotion. They said, I said, you know, this is, you know, at least you're in Woodbridge. At right. least this starts you off. You can sell this and move into the next one. We found out, I kind of found out later that they were increasing the price because they got some, some family members to help them out. And when do you help out family? When, you, when they need it, right? And especially in this, they're good kids. So family members helped them out, um, with, with the mortgage and stuff like that. So their budget increased. So then we found this amazing property. It was like their dream and tears, they, they were crying. So it was very, very emotional that in a sense. Impactful. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so in this industry, I, I think you're able to, to help people change their lives. Yeah. And that's probably the biggest impact that you can make on. A hundred percent, yeah, right? yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. So two impactful stories, yeah. two people's lives that you are able to change yeah. for the better. And yeah. Yeah, so that's why you love doing what you do. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good. You know what? It, it like you know, obviously we we do well. You know, we work hard naturally, and we do well. But it's it's also these takeaways, right? It's not all about, yeah. you know. Obviously, we're here to provide a service. We're here to you know full force all the time. We're here always to to, to hammer out. But yeah, it kind of shines some light on the, on the, it gives it some color, let's say, right. it gives, gives this business some color. It's not right. black and white, just sell a, sell a, sell a deal, get paid and then move on. It's more like you've, you've, you've got some color on that deal where you can go back and, and have stories like this, right? That's amazing. Yeah. So that's cool. That's and amazing. there's, you know, well over 400 transactions. So <laughs> I would imagine there's, if we can dig out a few more, right? For sure. Yeah, of course, yeah. man. I'm pretty sure you have probably 10 or 15 more that are similar. But it's yeah. good to know at least. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, top of mind. I mean, right, it's just... right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're not getting any heads up about these questions. All right. So we're going to hit you with last one. Let's go. Any advice for upcoming realtors? Because I know you mentioned, obviously, the impact that you make on people's lives. In yeah. Real estate. If I'm somebody that wants to get into real estate and there's a lot of people that want to do it yeah. and haven't jumped. What is your biggest um, ad or best advice you would give to that one individual that wants to get into the world of real estate? I don't know. You know, it's 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 a tough question. I mean, I don't know. I see a lot of young people coming in with a lot more confidence than I did, and they're killing it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, mind you, I, the industry is in their favor currently right now too, but they're killing it. They understand the marketing concept of it. They understand. Like, when we got into real estate. It was what did we know? And nobody knew anything. The trainers were horrific. Right. Um, so I don't know what I would 
if I had to say anything, it's work ethics. Stay consistent. Yeah, keep keep a schedule. I know it sounds tacky or so it's like cliche, but you need a schedule for sure. Right. Treat every client like you'd like to be treated. Like a, it's like a Bible verse, right? right? So just with a sales twist on it, and uh, and have fun. Have fun. Yeah, because ultimately, you know, you don't you don't know you don't know what the, the when your last deal is going to be. So always keep a, keep your chin up, keep a smile on, keep keep positive. There's, there's so much to that. I don't, I don't even know where to go, but there's, no, there's, <laughs> I'm starting to go through all. No, I get it. I get it. You, you, yeah. you kind yeah. of summed it up. You just want them to, to be successful, but to have fun while doing it yeah. and, and be very transparent, right? That's the big Tran part. Transparency with their clients for sure, but just, just stay balanced, I think, with more important because some people, you, you'll see them working and not, and not getting any traction, sort of like an engine without a transmission. So mm. if you got nothing to do at, at, at the office, go home, go relax. Go spend time, watch TV, take a nap, <laughs> read a book, right. spend time with your wife or husband. <laughs> but don't, don't just sit there and pretend to be busy. It's the right. worst thing. It's right. the worst because you need a break. It's just, something's telling you you need a break. So just take some time off. Don't be afraid to take time off. Hey, that is yeah. actually great advice. Yeah. That's yeah. great advice. Yeah, if you like this video, I know this is obviously off the cuff. Please like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, you are a realtor or, or somebody, you can always reach out to me on my socials. So that's pretty much it, guys. Have an amazing day, and we'll talk soon. Ciao.